funny. About that. <laughs> tell him. Tell him why it's funny. <laughs> this okay. dog, every time we're recording a video, is either snoring or making some ridiculous noise. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm sorry. We'll feed you in a second. She probably wants. To, she probably just wants attention. Maybe I don't know. Oh man! All right, what are we making? I'm gonna make some eggs and some bacon. Have you seen? You seen Friday? Eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, <laughs> and some leftover pork chops. All right, we so we get uh, some protein here, some bacon. We'll do some eggs, uh, and and we'll use butter as our base rather than the vegetable oils. You know, a lot of people commented on the. Um, I saw the coconut oil one. Yeah, the coconut oil one. I like that. I Some just, people I said that it's going to change the consistency of the treats. Actually, the treats turned out really well. So no, I think, but I did like I could notice that it tasted a little different. Really? But in the slightest, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But all right, coconut oil would have been really good. So it's eleven fifty one. I'm actually leaving today. Um, I'm going to leave here in the next hour or so because I need to work for the next couple of days. Um, been off for the last six days, which has been really nice. So I will be back here in 10 days. So I've, I've been here for the last six days. It was really nice, uh, somewhat of a break. So here is the plan for the next couple of weeks. I'm officially leaving California in 20, ooh. Is it 25? 25, 24, 25 days. Um, I'm gonna go to work for the next, um, Couple of days. I think the next time I'll be back here with Holland is in the next 10 days. I'll have about a four day break and then I'll go back, um, do another 10 days of working, not working kind of thing. And that's it. And then I'll be back here to spend um, Easter with Holland and her family. And that's it. We'll be moving to Vegas from there. Holland's actually going to come with me for the first couple of days to uh, move into the apartment, get everything situated. We have a couple of things that are that have already been ordered and will be sent to the apartment. Speaking of that, we need to order the rest of the stuff. Yeah, we, we have a lot of things that we, that we need to be doing here in the next couple of days. But uh, getting married in the middle of June, so it's going to be super hot in Vegas. Um, which is why I wanted to actually make today's video on, on regards to our marriage. So what are some of the things that Holland and I plan for our marriage? Uh, number one, we actually will not have lived together until we're officially married which is pretty interesting because that's uh not normal i guess nowadays and some people might have their opinions on that honestly it wasn't purposeful i think if we could have lived together before getting married we would have done it it just ended up working out to where um i finished school at a certain time holland finished nursing school at a certain time and then we end up getting married and just so happened to be living together at that point in time so um, that's that one. A couple of questions regarding our finances. So Hall and I will be combining everything. Um, we're getting married. We're sleeping in the same bed. We have the same finances. Um, we have some beliefs on that. You know, I know a lot of people don't agree with that. A lot of people don't think it is the best idea, but honestly, I just, I think quite the contrary. I don't really think it's the best idea to get married to somebody to make all these sacrifices for someone to sleep in the same bed as someone. Um, and yet our finances are separate. Makes no sense to me. Uh, we are a team, and so we're gonna build together. Um, mm -hmm. Holland is basically, uh, what are you right now? What am I? Holland is not even working. So I'm her sugar daddy. But, 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 when I finished up PA school, um, I was really cutting it close with finances. Um, my the money basically that I had set aside it really just stretched that last bit and so for maybe the first two weeks of me finishing school and moving to Iowa to start working Holland was actually going to be my safety net because she had some money in savings and so that's really just the teamwork that we've been we've been doing uh, obviously now we have a substantial amount of money saved um, and so Holland doesn't work anymore I feed I this woman I just quit what Two weeks ago? Three yeah, weeks ago? so she was working and I said, you know, you have three more months left in nursing school, let's just ride this out. You don't have to work anymore, just focus on school and then um, we'll go from there and so. But it makes it nice for me because then I can go to Vegas 
here and there the next few months. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really great. So the, the, the pros certainly outweigh the cons. Um, so I, yeah, I guess we'll just title this video, Are We Combining Our Finances? Um, again, guys, it really doesn't make any sense to me how you can live with someone, sleep in the same bed as someone, uh, make a child with someone. That, that is like absolutely insane, but yet you can't share finances because just in case, you know, just in case something goes wrong, like, well, why are you having kids with this person if they're just in case? Because now you're going to end up splitting up the home and having the kids get raised by a single mother or a single father. It just doesn't well, make no sense. When you're married and you don't know their finances, like their mess is your mess. So it's, Oh, that's another good point. So here's another th thing that I thought about. So if me and Holland decided to separate our finances, again, this works for us, maybe not for other people, but if I don't know what Holland's spending, she doesn't know what I'm spending. I don't really know how much she makes. She doesn't know how much I make. We basically split everything down the middle and then she spends whatever she wants. Holland could have $30,000 in credit card debt that I have no thought of, I'm not aware of, but if something happens to Holland, I'm responsible for that $30,000 in debt because we're married. So it's like, why are you getting married and yet your finances are completely separate because if shit hits the fan, I'm responsible for everything she's done. She's responsible for everything I've done in regards to the mess that we've made with money. And so it, it makes no sense to me. So Holland doesn't make X amount. I don't make X amount. We make X amount. And that's the way we're gonna run our household. So. Uh, maybe that helps you guys maybe figure out what it is that you're going to be doing, but uh, that's just kind of what has um, worked best for us. So Holland doesn't have a retirement account. I don't have a retirement account. We have our nest egg um, and we make expenditures together. We decide what we're going to spend things on, what we're not going to spend things on, where we're going to invest, how much we're going to invest and things like that. So um, what's another one, I guess? Houses. So we have decided to not buy a house right now. We've decided to uh, stay in this bougie apartment that Holland <laughs> picked out. And uh, that's where we're going to live for the next couple of years. Can we buy a house? Absolutely. Um, it's really, again, not that difficult for us to buy a house. It's really not that difficult for me to have bought a house when I was 23 years old. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, but for us, we just don't know if Vegas is going to be our forever place. And I just don't really feel like going four, five, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000 in debt to buy a place that I don't really know I'm gonna be locked down in. Um, or that I really don't know if we're gonna be locked down in that specific location for any set, um, given amount of time. And so we have decided just to rent for now. We're not really in a rush again to go hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt. When we are, we will make that decision together. And um, maybe it's gonna be in Vegas, maybe it won't. But whatever decision we make, we'll be doing it together. So we're going to finish up here making breakfast. It's looking really good. Uh, get some eggs here. The dogs are here, and Ellie stopped making noises. So, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed all the videos that we keep posting. They're kind of random, but uh, some of you guys like to see that. And it's pretty cool to record these videos with Holland. So, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one.